Hello there, this is Hans Forsen with Napkin Engineering Network. This third video highlights the SoundTry Noise version 9 bitmap manager in the GeoDatabase Start Ribbon. This video is for educational purpose only and does not replace any software training. Let's get started. In the last video I went over the bitmap manager and there was a few things I uh, forgot to mention so I'll have a special bitmap manager video here. First of all, here we see the uh, start um, ribbon up here. Uh, here in the center, we have the bitmap manager. Uh, we have a top view selected right now. We can turn on the bitmaps. So here, let me open up the detailed map import. It shows a background bitmap and then several detailed bitmaps on top of it. Um, we can actually see the bitmap in the background also with in the side view or front view or side view. Uh, so the combination of aerials and side view and front view is now possible, uh, which is also a great improvement. I uh, also want to mention uh, if we are in the front view or side view and we zoom in in these uh, projections here, uh, so here on the right hand side we see my cursor. So wherever the cursor is and I change the wheel, uh, the zooming or zoom out will be around the cursor position. So if I want to put it here in the middle of all the geometry and I use that, then it uh, proportionally zooms in to the right and left. Um, if I move it here at the top, then it moves it basically towards the bottom. So again, proportionally wherever that cursor is, it moves and uh, zooms in. So let me close that and let's open up the bitmap manager and we can uh, take a look at some of the additional functions so here we have the detail warehouse you may notice that some of the tags from the google maps are gone so let me show you how you can remove them so here we have the map satellite tag and then down here the plus minus plus whatever additional information we can remove that and just uh, basically clip out the section that is really of interest. So we move our cursor here to the top left corner and uh, push down the left mouse button and drag it over this area and release. So here we are now seeing this is the clip area. We can adjust in uh, just by using the handles here on the right, bottom, top, or in the corners. And uh, when we are done um, kind of selecting that, we can finish the editing by clicking on this crop icon here and, uh, and then save the changes. We can also do a save as. So here if I use this commercial area south and then save as, we can give it with a new name for A, for example. So now we have a duplicate of this here. And uh, this duplicate I want to use to also show some of the other functions that we have here. We can uh, make a black and white uh, aerial here. We can uh, change the, uh, uh, the uh, contrast here, or the brightness, so we can make it lighter. Maybe increase the contrast, make it a little bit lighter. All right. Okay, let's save that. Uh, we can also flip the information, that, which may not be really that intuitive, but in some cases you may have a situation where you have a certain layout of buildings or uh, plant, and your customer um, just kind of maybe suggests, okay, can we flip the building? Can we uh, turn around and put the parking lot on the other side or things like that? So in that case, it may be um, beneficial to be able to just flip the geometry. So let me flip that here. And then in this case, it's flipped in X and Y, uh, in, in the X direction. Um, we can rotate uh, the map, uh, rotate it uh, another uh, to 180 degrees. All right, okay. And then we can flip it again. Right. So with that, you have different options of flipping uh, your aerial view. 
Now, if you want uh, the coordinates uh, to be uh, scaled or re-centered re or reshaped, uh, we can uh, do that here in the coordinates section. So let me save this here for, for the time being. And uh, I want to show you uh, how that works with the coordinates. So here we have the coordinates. And we can see um, the aerial right here. This is the current view that we have. Um, I can zoom into this area. So here is the area. And let's say we don't want to use these corner points. We want to use other reference points. Uh, we can just click on these coordinates here on the left hand side wherever we want to pick a certain point for the for the scaling. So if we see for example here uh, this bridge right here, corner of that bridge, and then we could use uh, another corner here at the end of this building. So I go to that first point, I uh, select the corner right here, and then here I use the same corner. All right, so now I have these two points uh, I connected to each other. Now I'll go to the second point. And again, I want to move those points as far apart as possible. So here, let me point it to this and to this here. And now I have basically this bitmap rescaled with these two new points based on the area that we have here. All right. So let me um, save that or close that click on coordinates and now I have these new coordinates and I'll save it. Now in terms of creating new um, bitmap groups, let me uh, open up a new bitmap group and I will rename that to second bitmap group. All right, we can uh, Move it up here. To move it, uh, you select, you uh, click on that on that field. Uh, you move, move to the side, and you can see this uh, blue line here now. And we can now drag it up here. So now I can move it one further. All right. So here we have a bitmap group. And in this bitmap group, I move in uh, this uh, this second uh, uh, this map here, and move that into this group, and then maybe this other one that I just copied here, and I drag it over to the right. You yeah, see that blue line, and then I move it up to and highlight the, that group, and now it's moving that into that group. So this is kind of how we can uh, generate new groups and uh, rearrange the maps that are assigned to these groups. Um, and that ends this special video on the Bitmap Manager. Um, thank you for listening. Let me close this. And here we have our second Bitmap group.